In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite blitz in Madden 23 right now. Um, I think that this blitz right here is really the foundation if you want to get some good double pressure. Um, it allows you to have kind of a full blitz scheme where you can get pressure sending five, you can get pressure sending six, um, and you can also adapt your pressures based off of the pass protection uh, that your opponent is running. So uh, the play, uh, we're just going to come out of U-trips because you can block your tight end and all that. Uh, but we're going to be taking a look at the Baltimore Ravens defensive playbook, and we're going to be going to the Dime 146. Now, uh, the reason that I really, really like the Dime 146 is because it gives us the ability to do something very specific that I actually think makes this defense better than the dollar uh, 326. And the reason is the play we're going to be taking a look at is DB Sting. Now, if you want to get my entire Dime 14 or Dime 146 defensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. I released this ebook, and uh, this ebook has stood the test of time this season. It's been, I think, the most powerful blitz in the game. And I also think it's been the most adaptable defense, able to adapt to different formations and also allowing you the most versatility from a coverage perspective and the fact that you always have two high safeties. So again, the plays DB Sting. If you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description below. Our Patreon members get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. In addition to that, we also give you access to all the updates to those ebooks. And we just dropped a, our 16th ebook of the year today in our bunch tight end. So we got a lot of really good content in there for you. If you want to check that out, the link is in the description down below. Like I said, just 10 bucks gets you access to everything. But let's take a look at DB Sting. So DB Sting is the main blitz and the money play really uh, from this formation. And here's the setup. We're just going to pinch our defensive line. Notice that it's going to move these guys outside and we don't have to base a line to get this alignment. That's one of the big advantages of this formation. Now, um, from there, we can do several different things from an adjustments perspective. What I like to do specifically against U-trips is I love to go ahead and just shut down that running back wheel just with this simple adjustment right here. We know that the tight end is one of the most important um, players to defend in U-trips, so we're going to bracket him with a hard flat to the right, and then we're going to user him off of the snap. So what you're going to see, snap the ball, I'm looking for the tight end, and as you see there, we're able to get that double pressure off of both edges, and that's what makes Dime 146 uh, I personally believe better than uh, the dollar three two six because not only can you guarantee pressure with five, but you can also, um, for example, if you wanted to, you know, we could do something like this and have a pretty basic cover one uh, little four man pressure that I think is pretty pretty uh, you know effective as almost like a coverage defense, right? We're able to drop a significant amount of coverage to this right side. Another example or a variation of the coverage defense could look something uh, like this. And you really want to take advantage of these safeties, in my opinion. So you see here, we're heavily adjusting over to the side. If they send the running back out, we're going to go user him. And you see we're still getting pressure, only sending four people. This defense is extremely adaptable and moldable to whatever your opponent is doing. We'll get the same basic thing off of the left side. So we can do something like this and now really lock down uh, in my opinion, the U-Trips formation. I would really recommend shading uh, outside if you want to uh, slow down some of the wheel routes and stuff out of this formation. But you'll see here, we're going to loop around that right side just like we were able to loop around uh, the left side. So you see how powerful uh, this formation really is. And the beauty of this is if they do want to have like they're running back into the pass protection. If they start to block their running back to try to pick this blitz up, you're going to notice that a lot of times we'll be able to get pressure off of one of the edges, if not both of the edges, just like that. And then the last little piece of this, and we're dropping, you know, we're obviously only sending five, and we're still getting pressure, and that's what makes this such a good blitz. Um, but if we blitz off the left side, you see we block the tight end. So what's going to have to happen, in order for them to pick up the five-man pressure, Right. In order for them to pick up the five man pressure that we can create out of one four six, they're gonna have to block their running back and their tight end. And that doesn't actually always work, by the way. Um, but 
at that point, we've kind of ultimately gotten accomplished what we wanted because now they can only have three routes on the field, and our sheds from this formation are actually really good, especially because, again, this pinching of the line and the fact that these guys are stand-up linebackers, my personal opinion, I think you get much better sheds uh, as a result of this. And as you can see here, um, you know, you're just going to basically – it's going to be hard for them to beat the coverage. Man coverage is really effective, and one of the best ways to beat man coverage is to utilize your tight end in the route. And with this basic blitz concept um, you know they're not able to do that now another thing that you can do uh, from this formation is you can slide the running back side DB in off the edge and try to contain him sometimes this contain will actually loop around the blocked running back as you saw right there it'll create some little uh, kind of some little subtle nuances uh, we're gonna be doing some breakdowns in our ebook to kind of teach this at a little bit higher of a level um, so make sure that if you're not in the patreon that you get in the patreon I think you're gonna really enjoy some of these breakdowns but this little looping, glitchy blitz that you can get out of 146 can actually still get pressure even if they max protect. So there's a lot of things, uh, in my opinion, that the 146 allow you to do that the dollar just simply doesn't. I do have a dollar ebook in there, and we do discuss how to run that at a very high level. But as you're seeing right here, I believe that the pressure is actually significantly better uh, from the dime 146 in terms of how it's going to react once they start blocking people. The dollar blitz is really good, but this one, in my opinion, is my personal favorite. And I'd really encourage you, if you want to run a similar style defense, to check out our Dime 146 defensive ebook, where we break down all of the pressures that you can get from this. We also break down in depth a lot of different coverages that you can merge with this that make this defense, I think, a top two or three defense in the game, if not the best defense in the game. So if you want to check that out, head down to the description of the video down below, and you can click the link to go sign up for our Patreon page. It's only $10 to sign up for that. And like I said in the beginning, it gets you access to all of our eBooks as well as all of the updates and any new eBooks that we do release while you're a Patreon member. So again, for $10, you're getting a ton of material, 16 eBooks, and I believe some of the best defensive stuff uh, on the internet. So if you want to check that out, head down to the description of this video and click the link down below.